all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rahakadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who teach the hundred percent truth, who brought us out of darkness. Um all praises to the Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rahakadash, the Holy Spirit coming through the uh, being sent by Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai being sent by Yahweh, coming in the name of each, all down the line, down to the elders and apostles of Jesus, down to the um, to the prophets, down to the down to the Akiam, uh, down to the next generation of uh, uh, down to the kingdom. You know, um, yeah, so Jeremiah. I just wanted to say, um, this this lesson is going to be called. If you're planning on, <laughs> if you're planning on celebrating Halloween this year, you are mad. You are mad. You know, because you must have got to the point at this moment where you're starting to look at World War. You're starting to look at um, at the the collapse of Esau's kingdom. And start, you should be, at least, any sane person should be, whether you're Edomite, Israelite, or whatever, you should be actually considering that, at least considering that Yahweh is pissed and he's doing some, he's doing some business in the world. That's, that's just basic. That's just basic level of thought. That's not even, you know, doesn't take any intelligence to do that. Get some scriptures. I think it's Luke twenty one, but I'm not sure. Certain scripture I'm looking for. Jeremiah 49 and 8. Flee ye, turn back, dwell deep, O inhabitants of Dedan, for I will bring calamity of Esau upon him, the time that I will visit him. Jeremiah 50 and 31. Behold, I am against thee, O most proud, saith the Lord of God of hosts, for thy day is come, the time that I will visit thee. Therefore shall her young men fall in the streets, and all her men of war shall be cut off in that day, saith the Lord. Revelation 18 or 20. Um, something telling me 18. I'm going to go there. And after these things I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory, and he cried mightily you know, with a strong face, saying, Babylon the great fallen has become the habitation of every unclean and hateful bird, for all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and ye receive not of her plagues, for ye for her sins have reached unto heaven, and God hath remembered her iniquities, reward her even as she rewards you, and double unto her double according to her works, and the cup which she has filled, filled to her double, how much she has glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her, for she saith in her heart, I sit as a queen and am no widow, and shall see no sorrow, therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death, mourning, and famine. So look, I mean, maybe you ain't seen the scriptures, you know what I mean? Like, but you got to be like understanding that the Lord does not like fornication, spiritual fornication. Let's get Jeremiah. Let's, see. Mm. let's get uh, Jeremiah 1 and 10, I think it is. No, is it 10 and 1?
Hear the word of the Lord, that speaketh unto you, as it shall. Thus saith the Lord, Learn not the way of the heathen, be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed by him. For the customs of the people are vain. One cut off a tree out of a forest, and work of the hands of workmen with an axe. They deck it with silver. So they don't, they don't, the Lord does not like what you, all these weird pagan customs that we are following. That, you know, I ain't following that shit. But, you know, that, that this, this society follows. The Lord doesn't like Valentine's Day. The Lord does not like Easter. The Lord doesn't like Christmas. The Lord doesn't like birthdays. If it ain't in this book, it ain't, it ain't, it, it, you know, those things, you're following something else. And though, you know, it's not just a tradition. There's always, nine times out of ten, there's always some spiritual practice behind the, the feast days. There's always some spiritual origin, whether it's pagan, whether it's heathen, whether it's Buddhist, whether it's Indian, it's always something else. If it ain't in the scriptures, it's something else. It says in the scriptures, follow not in multitude to do evil. No. Multitude. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil, neither shalt thou speak in a cause to decline after many to rest judgment. You know, so we don't, we're not meant to follow all everybody else. Just because everybody else is doing it, it don't mean that you're supposed to do it. <laughs> like, like your mum used to say, if someone told you to jump off a cliff, would you do it? No, you wouldn't. And this is kind of suicide, especially at this time. You know, with the time when the Lord is beginning to show his works. Look up for your redemption and draw us nigh, you know. Um, let's see. I don't think it's going to come up for anything. Get that Luke twenty one man. You know, I'm gonna shut it off, man, because that's it. That's all I had wanted to bring out, really. Nation shall rise. Um, Luke twenty one and ten. Then he said unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines, and pestilences, and fearf fearful sights, and great signs there shall be from heaven. You see in all these things, but before all these, they shall lay hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake, and it shall turn, and it shall turn to you for a testimony. Settle it therefore in your hearts, not to meditate before what ye shall answer. For I will give you mouth and wisdom, with all your adverse, which all of your adversaries shall, shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. And ye shall be betrayed both by parents, brethren, and kinsfolk, and friends. And some of you they shall cause to be put to death. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But there shall not a hair of your head perish. In your patience possess ye your souls. And when ye shall see Jerusalem come past with armies, then know that the desolation, desolation thereof is nigh. Then then not come, which are under Judea, flee into the mountains. Okay, so that's talking about 70 AD. For there... But these are the days of vengeance that that all things which are written may be fulfilled. Um, we're going on, and there shall be signs in the sun and the moon and the stars and upon the earth, and the distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. Men's hearts vain them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming onto the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Those are the people in the high seats and the most the most powerful people, the um, you know the powerful banking families. Then shall they say, see the Son of Man come in the cloud, of, in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things began to come to pass, then look up and lift your heads for your redemption draw of nigh. Behold the fig tree, and he spake unto them a parable. Behold the fig tree and all, and all the trees when they now shoot forth, ye shall ye see now. See and know of yourselves that the summer is now at night hand. So likewise, when the, you see these things come to pass, know ye that the kingdom of God is night hand. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass away till it be, till all be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life, so that the day not become upon you unawares. For... 
as a snare shall, shall, shall it come unto all of them that dwell on the face of the earth. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. So look, he's saying, you know, like when you see the you see the shoots coming out of an olive tree, you know that 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 is about you know summer's about to come. When you see these signs, you know what's gonna what's gonna you know what's gonna happen. And you're seeing these signs, and you're thinking, oh man, why is God punishing us? But yeah, let's go and celebrate Halloween. Let's see that I despise your feast days. That's another one that came up to it just came to me. Let me see. Amos 5 and 21. I hate, I despise your feast days. I will not smell in your summer, solemn assemblies. Now, this is kind of not quite... Well, you know, like, I think this was written more towards the um, the Pharisees, say. Let's see. Or water to evil Israelite or evil Jews, let's say. Or Jews that are not doing the right thing. Wicked Jews. <laughs> They hate, hate him that rebuketh in the gate, and the poem that speaketh up rightly. So when you start to say, I ain't doing Christmas, people are going to start to say, oh, you're, you're a Grinch, you're, you're a, you know, you're, you're a sport sport, you're, you're a killjoy, you're a party pooper. That's all right. Hate the evil, love the good, and establish judgment in the gate. It may be that the Lord of hosts will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. Therefore the Lord, the God of hosts, the Lord saith thus, Wailing shall be in all the streets, and they shall say in the highways, Alas, alas, they shall call the husbandmen to mourning, and such as the skillful lamentation to wailing. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it? I hate, I despise your feast days. I will not smell in your solemn assemblies. Though you offer me burnt offerings, you know, like we could do your, I don't know, whatever you're doing, man, whether it's your Christmas or whatever, I mean, this, your meat offerings, I will not accept them, neither will I regard the peace offerings of, of your fat beasts. Take thou away from me the noise of thy songs, for I will not hear the melody of thy vows. But let judgment rain, run down as waters and righteousness as mighty stream. Have ye offered unto me sacrifices and offerings in the wilderness forty years, O house of Israel? But ye have borne the tabernacle of your Moloch and Chuin, your images, the star of your God, which you put on the top of the Christmas tree. And you which he made to yourselves. Therefore, I will cause you to go into captivity beyond Damascus, say the Lord, whose name is the God of hosts. Anyway, that's all I'm going to bring out today. If you are uh, celebrating Halloween, you are on a mad thing. You are literally nuts. You know what I mean? Because at the most, at the best, you're seeing these signs and if you're even half-witted, you would be hedging your bet, saying, yeah, maybe I better not do this, given that what's going on in the world. Anyway, shallow one.